Well, good morning. I hope you're doing well. As you can see, we're back at Skyrim, and hello, Anigo. And while I was on the way to my next destination, I happened to notice the mammoth over there. And they are being guarded by some giant, so we're not going to go near them to say hi, because the giants will attack. I know that from experience. But that's pretty impressive. Now, over here... a camp of bandits and this is where Miss Shirley's sword and bow went off to so we're gonna attempt to get them back might get smacked around a few times I don't know who that is Uh huh. Do that, Onego. Like the fight of a blade. Friends, you are burning. Oh wow. Who are you? One guy. Wait, hold on. Oh wait. Did Inigo take care of him? Inigo? Thank you. Oh. Well, we're going this way. Come on, Inigo. I need to get some healing. Alright. <clears throat> See, I need my... No. No, that's not the one. My sword in one hand and my healing skill in the other and I've forgotten how to do that. I should probably just go ahead and try out one of these bows too. I like that axe. Well, except when I'm getting baked by some mage with a flamethrower. Where is my oh, it might help if I did that. There we go. So this place is pretty well defended, as you can tell. You got anything on you I want? <laughs> if you tried to bake me, I'm gonna steal your stuff. Blacksmith potion, I'll take that. Your gold, lockpick, I'll take those things. Thank you. What's the other one? Um, iron arrows, longbow. No, nothing else. I don't know exactly where. I don't know if Miss Shirley's bow is inside or outside. I'll take that baked potato, thank you very much. I want your kettle. Take the salmon steaks. Yep. Pre cooked meal. Alright. So. Yeah, it must be inside. Silent Moon's camp. Hopefully. Hopefully, we're not running in here to get ourselves killed. Excuse for me, nothing. my friend. in the middle. Well, they got themselves a nice setup in here. Is someone there? Oh, there you are. 
I don't think so, lady. Oh, nothing. Wait. Go back. Get that. Height bracers. Height bracers, huh? And I'm here wearing a... Oh, they're the same thing. Same armor. Alright. Oh, wow, it's dark in here. Okay. I have a torch. Probably not, because I didn't think about it. Nope. Nope. Food. Well, it does not look like I have any sort of torch. Okay. Something singing. Oh. It's okay. Kill the bandit leader. Oh, I completed a quest. Yeah, unintentionally. Unironically completed a quest. Okay. Ah, sword's not worth much. Alright, let's rifle through your things, please. Sold. Uh, excuse me. I should grab that. Did I see some, a potion? Boy, I need to start. There we go. Search the barrels. Tomatoes. Those. That's empty. That's empty. That's empty. Is that it? Make sure. Let me use this torch, because it is too dark to see anything in here. I don't see anything else. Well, mushrooms. Let's search the stuff. Apples. Not that I would expect her stuff to be in a barrel, but, well, you never know. No. 
Oh, this place sounds so creepy. Okay. More costs and Elder Branch. From the bandit hideout at Silent Moon Camp. Visit their, their hideout. Am I, what am I missing? Nobody else in here. anything else on him. Ah. That's what I missed. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, Oops. Sorry, Inigo. <laughs> Let me hit you. He goes, oops. <laughs> might be nice. But other than that, nope. But, uh, that's a woodcutter axe. That's the hunting bow. Take the apples. Lots of green apples. Lock the door. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, not very good. random junk. Get that bread. Put that up there. What? Ah, seared slaughter fish. We'll take those. Control that. Ew. <laughs> Probably use them for some, some spell or tanning hides or something. Oh, well that replaces most of the pickaxe and the picks that I broke. Uh, now I will definitely take your gold. You're dead, you don't need it. Lingering stamina poison. That's not even worth anything. I will leave it. What we got in here? Extra magicka. Enhanced stamina. Plentiful stamina. Anything else? Oh, are those health potions? They are. I will be taking them. <laughs> All right. We finally figured out where. How are you feeling, was. my friend? Everything all right? And Neo is saying that I don't look so good. Why did they always say that? Do I look that sickly? Oh, looks like I used up that torch. Okay, well, that's fine. We 
found what we were looking for. So, the torch was well used. Night time now. If there's anyone else up there, I'm not gonna go find out. Got what I needed. Got, I got two things. You. You wanna know? Random person hanging out over there. In the, at night. Yeah, that's not the least little bit suspicious. Stay over there. <laughs> you could be the best ally in the world, but yeah, you can stay over there. There's the man, one of the mammoths again. I don't want to go that way. I'm not getting smashed flat by some mammoth. Oh, maybe I should do that too. Look safe. Just in case I do run into something and die. <laughs> I don't have to start all over again. Right, as usual, I have that problem in. At night, everything looks different. That is that. Thank you, Inigo. Inigo has my back. I got wolf help. Inigo is you probably my favorite. Stars, my friend. Well, aren't they beautiful? They are. They're very beautiful. I love how he notices little things like that. Here I am trying to run to get back to Miss Shirley, and he's like, oh, "This is a beautiful place. Uh, look at the stars." I'm like, "Thank you, Anigo, for reminding me to notice the little things." I have never been afraid of the dark. In fact, sometimes I think the dark is afraid of me. That was cute. He does say some funny things. Which is another reason I love Amigo. Of course. Been there. That means we are close to our destination. Hopefully. We should put our weapons away. So that we manage her mystery for the second time. We're not waving them around and scaring her. A little, little clock. Run away, little clock. something. She might be asleep. It is night time. Uh-oh. I 
have to wait for it to be daytime. I don't want to be running around being nosy in her house. <sighs> yeah, I know, Nico, you're tired. I think I'll let us sleep in the pink ugly outfit. There's an ugly outfit in there, okay. Oh, it will let me sleep. Okay. I did not think it would let me sleep in here, but I guess you can use Shirley's house to sleep in. You awaken feeling well rested. Hopefully, Anigo found a place to sleep too. You didn't stand out there guarding my door all night, did you, Anigo? I hope not. Okay, I do not, still do not see Shirley. Is there a back door to Shirley? I didn't even know that. Oh, look at this. A little teeny tiny patio on the back. That's so cute. Okay, no lie. I like this. Maybe I should have slept longer. Sit in the chair. Oh, that chair's kind of neat. Maybe she's outside now. Come on, let's find her, Shirley. I don't know what this is supposed to be. There's that little back. Oh, it even had the gate. I didn't even notice that. Her deck overlooking mountains. Little place to sit and read. Lots of places to sit and just take in the view or read or do whatever. Boy, I wonder how far that well goes. But she's not out here. Oh, cool pay place where she sits and paints. That's so neat. The cellar? <laughs> <laughs> Nico's complaining about his fleas. Oh, that's funny. Whoa. I had no clue this was down here. Oh my god. Look at all the workstations. Oh, this is fantastic. There's a workbench, an anvil, a smelter. Stump benches, an arcane enchanter, inspect Mr. Floaty. Staring at the strange floating ball of light, you feel almost as though it is alive and staring right back at you. You feel no discomfort from this, however. In fact, it is oddly warm and peaceful, and somehow you know that Mr. Floaty feels the same way about you. Perhaps one day you will delve deeper into the mystery surrounding this creature, but for now, this bizarre understanding you have between you is enough for both of you. You yeah, can choose a bit more hard on these walls, I think. Is it like uh, an ego and Mr. Dragonfly? <laughs> but yay, there is a whole base but down there with crafting. I'm like absolutely thrilled. I don't know what to say. Miss <gasps> Shirley, you're away. Hey. Good morning. Everything all right? I've retrieved your weapons. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Say, you seem to handle yourself quite well out there. Now that I have my weapons back, perhaps you'd let me tag along a while? You want to go adventuring? Oh, yes. I've been sitting here too long. I want to see Skyrim again. And since you're here, I can guess you have the urge for adventure and exploration, too. 
Are you sure you can handle yourself? Oh, don't worry about that, dear. I have more experience than any five mercenaries you could find put together. I've forgotten more about fighting than they've ever even learned. Well, I'd love to go adventuring with you. Wonderful. Let's get going. What should I call you? Shirley? Miss Barbarian? Hmm. How about you just call me Grandma? Yeah, that feels right. All right. Let me know if I can help. I will, Miss Shirley. Or Grandma. Grandma Shirley. Yes, we have Grandma Shirley with us. It's going to be great. All right. So, we finally have Shirley. We have Amigo. We can go adventuring. And we will do that next time. But until then, bye for now. <laughs>